Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in May of this year, as I posted, Microsoft was testing new sidebar customization options for the sidebar and the side panel in Microsoft Edge, and that was taking place in Edge Canary, which is a preview version. Now, just to let you know that it seems now that Microsoft is pushing the same customization options out to the stable version of Microsoft Edge, version 119, soon to be upgraded to version 120 later this week. And I noticed this today in my region. Now, you may have seen this, you may have not, but just pointed it out in case you were unaware. And it seems to be on a controlled rollout using a server-side update because it wasn't there with any other update that's rolled out recently uh, to the browser. And I'm only seeing it on Windows 11 and not Windows 10. And also in the preview versions of the browser. So obviously now Microsoft is starting to push this out using a controlled server-side update to the stable version. Now, yeah, we can see things are looking a little bit different when it comes to the UI and the layout. Previously, we had some apps and services that just had a couple of toggles and you could toggle those on and off. Now, yeah, we get quick access with apps that you can just have quick access to. Um, OneDrive, Netflix, Games, Microsoft Shopping, OneNote and so on. And then yeah, we get Discover More. And by default, we've got the For You section selected, which just goes on forever. So if we just keep scrolling, the list basically just goes on. And then that's broken up into subcategories. So you've got by Microsoft, Productivity, Video. And if we click on the Show More drop-down menu, you've got Music, Fun, Social, News, Shopping, Sports, Games, Life, Education, Finance. So you get the idea. Now, I must just say at the outset that I prefer the old layout. Um, it was a lot less cluttered. This, to me, just brings a lot more confusion and clutter uh, into the sidebar and the side panel. You may disagree, but this is just obviously, um, for me, just brings a little bit more bloat and clutter into the Edge browser. And I prefer the old layout. It just was a lot um, less uh, fuss and bother, in my personal opinion. And... Uh, um, just to show you how this works, as an example, if we go to productivity and I click on OneDrive, that obviously opens up OneDrive as an example. And yeah, you can see that um, OneDrive now is in the sidebar. And I have a couple of options if I right click on that. I can pin it to the sidebar so it becomes one of my quick launch buttons and apps. And I can quit the app and I can unpin it from the sidebar. So there you go, you get the general idea. But just bringing that to attention, that those new sidebar customization options now seem to be rolling out progressively um, to the stable version of Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.